my beautiful loves, I'm Rena Wells and I'm here to do your weekly energy check-in for soulmates in separation. If that is either twin flames, soul divine counterparts, whatever that may be. I'm sorry I don't support people that uh, don't have a person. This is to help people, highly awakened souls on their journey dealing with ending karma and healing deep ancestral wounds and how to work with your natural abilities and alchemy and tarot and all that stuff. So if that sounds like you, welcome. If you are new and if you are returning, just know that I appreciate you guys so much and um, totally love all the comments and all the conversations that we have. It really keeps me going, guys. So keep up. Keep it up. I love it. I love it. We're going to take a look at um, your person, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. We're going to take a look at karmic energies as well. All of my viewers are divine feminine. So we are going to be looking at divine masculines towards their karmic energies and some healing messages. This is all really intuitive. So we're going to see what spirit has to bring forward. If you guys are new and you haven't checked out other content, I put out weekly teachings. I am going to be putting out a channel message today about the freedom aspect with twin flames and divine counterparts and how that works in the new world and the new earth that is being formed and what how old relationships are falling away and what that codependency is. So listen to those channel teachings, you guys, because there's a lot of info that comes through. Okay. And if you want to work with me, all that info's down below. Let's take a look, guys. Feel free to email me if you're interested in working with me. I don't answer, um, I don't read <laughs> specifically over internet and stuff, okay? All right, but I will definitely help you if you're pulled to my work and would like to work with me. Let's see what is going on with Divine Masculine towards the Feminine Spirit for this week. This is timeless, so whenever you get this, guys, it will uh, match for you, okay? What is going on with Divine Masculine in his headspace, heart, heart space, his intentions, and his outcome towards the Divine Feminine? What's going on with Masculine Energy in his headspace? Coexisting together, Okay. Your spiritual beliefs are different. So he may have some different belief systems about this connection. What's going on in Divine Masculine's heart space towards Divine Feminine? I'm working on my inner issues. What's going on in his intentions, Spirit? Intentions towards the Divine Feminine. We've got three things here. I know that you are my soulmate. So pretty aware that this is a soulmate connection. Let's move our little gnome man. Sorry, gnome dude. We're going to hang you off here. Off the little bonsai tree guy here. Sorry about it. We're trying to make some room. I did a lot of decorations, so it's kind of... We're going to do this. So he's got three things. He, he knows you're the soulmate, okay? I know there are secrets between us, and he's holding a lot of strength in this situation, okay? So there are a lot of things that are happening in his intentions towards... We don't know what this action is, but we're going to take a look at it. Outcome towards the divine feminine my these readings are quite lengthy so make sure you're having a nice cup of coffee like i am guys intuition he's using his intuition let's see what's going on with divine feminine towards the masculine what is going on with divine feminine towards the masculine please what is going on divine feminine's mind towards the masculine oh deadly sins wow look at this dark night stuff what is going on in her feelings? What? Torn between two lovers. Can we work things out? So Divine Feminines, you may be aware of a karmic situation and wondering if you can still work it out with your masculine or you could be in another uh, partnership and wondering if that's going to work with that person or with your masculine. Remember, these are general, so take it as it resonates. Divine Feminines intentions towards the masculine. Commitment, marriage, Hierophant energy, learning her lessons, um, leaving it up to spirit. Outcome, I'm waiting for the right time to be transparent with you and justice. So she may be aware that the masculine is waiting to bring this karmic justice. And she's a little bit unsure, right? She knows there's still a lot of karma that's happening. They're both mirroring this in the headspace. If you guys notice here, like divine masculine is wondering, like, can we coexist together? Do we share the same spiritual beliefs? She's going through, um, healing herself 
And because she's going through some of this healing, the masculine may be having some doubts about this spiritual connection or vice versa. We're going to pull out the kipper and take a look, but there's definitely um, some doubt that's having this feminine is really considering moving on. Could be some competition that's happening. Um, because it says torn between two lovers, or it could definitely be the karmic situation. But again, guys, we're going to take a look at the karmic stuff, okay? And um, let's get a little bit more clarity here, because what I'm getting is they're kind of on two different paths this week. There are some energies that are playing out that's kind of called Divine Feminine quite a way here, and to really looking at her own justice. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the right time to be transparent. So this is like, She's understanding that this masculine needs to come clean and it's up to him to bring that justice or vice versa. Again, um, she's either waiting to be, you know, telling the masculine that there's somebody else involved. Some of you divine feminines do have another partner is what I'm picking up on. Um, we're going to get into deeper of that. There might be some attachments and still some codependency the divine feminines are healing through. So we're going to take a... a better look at that so let's take a look and see what's going on with masculine first actually spirit yeah spirit says let's grab a connection for the two how are the two connecting how are the masculine and feminine connecting spirit can we have a card for that how are the masculine and feminine connecting this week look at this they both want to take a leap of faith so i'm wondering if it's a, a this last you know everything from the past um that's coming up and how to move forward there may be somebody that the divine feminine is really interested in and she's kind of putting out her feelers her energy to the divine masculine saying yo look you haven't done anything i'm like ready to seriously get into something serious here or i am going to just walk away from this and look for something serious if that's not your case you know that um you know your masculine needs to do this okay um, again, let's take a look. What is going on with the masculine in his headspace spirit with this coexist? Clarify that. Community. So this is what he's wondering. This masculine maybe is worried about what other people are thinking. Can this feminine fit into his world? Does this feminine fit his spiritual beliefs? Is his identity uh, going to be thwarted based... I don't know that word keeps coming up. That came up in the last... Uh, reading I did uh the pick a card stuff but it's almost like it's going to be thwarted uh his image you know because um what he portrays to his community is different than what his belief systems are I feel like this masculine is going through um an identity crisis is what I'm getting let's see what these deadly sins are for the divine feminine spirit can you clarify look at this marriage so she knows that she, this is a sacred marriage, okay? She knows what this is, but there is massive darkness that's holding this from coming to fruition. The, this is the, she's feeling the masculine's energy for sure. I love when I clarify because you get a much better picture here of like realizing like, wait a minute, he only cares about, you know, what everyone's gonna think. You know, I'm insane for coming after this feminine. We don't see eye to eye. We're so different. Because remember, the physical attributes of twin flames are so different, right? It's like we grew up differently. Um, people are going to think I'm insane. Like I'm ending a marriage for this or whatever the case may be. Um, he doesn't want to bring out these differences, especially the spiritual belief systems about twins and sacred union. People think twin flame people are insane but we're not we're actually the awakened ones so it's really funny okay let's see what his feelings are i need a sip of coffee i'm always drinking on coffee i always do these in the morning you guys and then upload and then they're released by the afternoon so that's why i'm always drinking coffee it's like 8 30 in the morning here so <laughs> let's see what is going on here with uh, Divine Masculine's feelings towards the feminine? I'm working on my inner issues. Are you? Are you, dude? Look at these. He's ready to get on a journey here. So this masculine wants to come forward. He's still working through some stuff. Divine Feminine's intention, I'm sorry, her feeling spirit. Can we work things out? She knows she's the abundance. She's the sudden wealth that just showed up in his world, right? Like, boom, here's the abundance. Here's the manifestation. 
and she's wondering like is this love gonna happen or is this third party situation gonna commence however that wants to be this is third party situation guys she is like is this really gonna be a thing like are you over it or like what what is happening here so there is definitely some type of um Yeah, she in her heart, she can feel it. She knows. She knows that it's not fully whatever's happening. If it's you're the third party or you're in a third party or he's in a third party or both on a third party, whatever it is, it's like, we're both like, can this actually happen? Can this abundance come into fruition? <clears throat> this masculine is sitting here in his intentions, knowing very well that he needs to action this. He knows there's a lot of secrets. He has to reveal himself. His masculine may have hidden his feelings for his divine feminine. And he may have tried to replace her with this false person. Okay, with the karmic situation. Look at this. He may have to buy out this karmic in order to gain this high honor. He may have to lose money, some financial um, abundance, because he may have to give... Uh, you know the property to the karmic situation he may have to uh, pay out alimony he may have to whatever it is he has to do this now in regards to coming into um this position with the divine feminine so there definitely is uh, a high honor that spirit is showing this masculine that you need to act you need to actually action this now this divine feminine is sitting in a place of her lessons. She's sitting with spirit right now. She's only actioning her calling. She's only actioning God. So that's her action. She wants the marriage and she ain't going to put any, you know, that's just it. She's mature. Yeah, she knows. Listen, this, this divine feminine is mature. She knows. And she ain't putting up with no guff, you know. And this masculine here is sitting in his intuition. He's using intuition. What is his intuition saying, spirit? In the future, okay, to travel towards divine feminine, to move towards her. That's what his intuition is saying. Um, what else about his intuition about moving into the future for what? What? What exactly, spirit? They're saying clarify with the tarot arena. <laughs> he may want to buy her a house or a property or share some kind of home with her. And uh, he wants to come home to her, okay? That's really what it is in the distant horizon. So it's on his itinerary. Who knows how long that is. Um, some of y'all have been waiting quite a while. I wouldn't wait. Don't wait. You know, you have to move in your path. You have to move and heal yourself consistently to be on this path, okay? Um, so let's see this justice for Divine Feminine that she she knows that he's not ready, okay, for this karmic justice. But she wants karmic justice. So she's putting an end to it. Look at this. She's starting a brand new beginning in her life. She's like, I don't even know if you're ready to handle this. And I don't even know I'm ready. Some of you, you, your divine feminines may not even want this anymore is what I'm getting. Some of you might, some of you don't. But some of you are like, I'm putting an end and really moving forward in my life. Um, and this ending, Spirit, clarify the ending and give me one for the new beginning. As I'm saying that, give me one for the ending, give me one for the new beginning, they give me two. So she's putting an ending to this courtship. And she's moving forward waiting to move forward her so you're really looking divine feminine how to move forward in your life you may be thinking about somebody else dating somebody else and this is actually activating something in your divine masculine let's see the to, to figure his stuff out let's see what's going on with the um energies between the two what are the energies between the two <laughs> this man wants to see he wants to be a mature man when he comes to this mature woman for a commitment he wants to take the chance how mature are you divine how are you mature divine masculine let's take a look you know us divine feminines can be fire eh so <laughs> he's ready to take a chance here what is this privileged lady i feel like he's ready to leave this karmic i see that as karmic yeah a new path is opening up here and yeah he lost he lost this path with this karmic energy okay he knows this privileged lady is somebody who doesn't want to do the work who thinks that they can just think and manifest and that's not nah. for a real divine counterpart relationship you actually have to heal subconscious wound deep subconscious wounds to find that abundant to find this pathway you don't get that with a privileged lady this always comes up for karmic energies so he's willing to take a chance for this new pathway because he lost his way he's lost his way with this divine feminine he's 
Yeah, let's clarify, guys. Let's clarify with the tarot. I'm pulling out my deck here. They're not for sale yet. I know I always say that. I have to create a store and all of that. And it's it's just time, guys. I'm just time. I'm trying not to take... Oops. Oops, oops, oops. I'm not trying to take time away from creating videos for you guys. You know, that's... That I get great joy out of it. And um, that's really what I would like to do first off. So when I get a chance, I will definitely create that store. So let's see what is going on here. Let's clarify. So this is my deck. It's called the Cosmic Tarot. And there are images that I felt spoke to my intuition. So they're very magical, fairy-like. <laughs> how my energy is let's see guys what is going on here divine feminine and divine masculine spirit is saying we're going to take underneath to see the overall energies right now to clarify there there is an apology coming from divine masculine he wants this pathway here he hasn't actioned anything and he hasn't been able to heal that's why nothing's ever got started we have the fool in reverse the knight of wands in reverse and the star in reverse he gave up his destiny it was stolen from him by this karmic energy here he, he lost his way. He lost his path. This mask, I'm going to be honest. Let's have a little compassion here. He's gone through the ringer here, guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's like, like we haven't, right? But um, Spirit is saying this, this dishonesty, the seven of swords has really, like, if you're wondering if your mask got his karma, listen, he's getting, he's getting raped by his karma right now. Let's just put it that way. It's some energy I'm feeling. That dishonesty, you can't be dishonest. Everything got halted in his life. A spirit knows when you screw over a real divine feminine, you ain't going to get away with that. You are not going to get away with that. Everything that he built is coming down, guys. Look, he wants to win out of this. He wants to win out of this. So let's see. He's so worried about what the world's going to think. What is the community going to think about his spiritual beliefs? Because he's going against the norm of the new age community. Really? True to Inflames don't really listen to a lot of the New Age stuff, okay? We find our own way. We we take what resonates. We build our own, you know, we're not attached to outcome, you know? And so he's looking at even his spiritual beliefs may be different than what the norm is. His calling may be different than what the norm is. You know, his gifts are being highlighted. He's getting a lot of fear here, Spirit is saying. So how the world is looking at him, our spiritual beliefs are so different. He needs to end his pain about this and where his beliefs were before. His ego's all over the place so that he can come forward with this Knight of Cups. Okay, that's really what's happening here. His heart plays for the Divine Feminine is that he is wanting to go on this journey. He's working on his stuff. He's working on his healing. He's ending the burdens and the frustrations in his life for this new beginning. He doesn't want to fight anymore, okay, in his heart. So he's not battling. He's done his training. He's not battling this connection in his heart. So he knows that he needs to come forward. And what's going on with his actions? He knows that he has to bring this karmic justice. So... You know, he knows that the Divine Feminine is his soulmate. He knows that he tried to replace her with this false person. I can't stand that. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I seriously, like, this morning when I was meditating, I was, like, on fire and really pissed off. This is where this, like, fire is coming from when I was doing my meditation before I came to do the reading. I was like, you tried, you tried to what, you compared me to that? Like, what? Like, are you kidding me? Like, you think that that person is a divine feminine okay whatever like i don't think so and this like this false person it's like trying to like replace with this false person and now realizing they're gonna have to bring this karmic justice and this unexpected um support you know pay out what he needs to to get to where he's going because divine families you can't be compared to just remember that you you were made with spirit and your twin it's a holy connection so anybody like you just gotta know your power in this if you're in a real twin flame connection yeah you're powerful you're powerful okay uh, not everybody gets to that point right this is a karmic justice that spirit has come in look at this has brought in the justice things were never going to work in his world this contract is ended we're going to look at the karmic energies because he has to return he has not completed his cycles he cannot. If this is a destined connection, you can't get away from it. Can't get away from it. 
And so what is his intuition saying about in the near, in the future spirit about moving towards the divine feminine and building a home? Look at this. He needs to offer her a marriage and a commitment. That's just how it is. Get over get grow like get over yourself. You're already married in spirit. You might as well realize like so what? You got to put it in the 3D. Your heart and your and and your spirit is already married. So what is the big deal with the 3D? This is what these masculines need to know. What is it? Why does the 3D scare you so much when you already feel it? You already know it. It's already in spirit. You're shown every single time. You can't run away from it. It's never going away. Do you think it's going to go away for the rest of your life? No, it's never going to go away. So spirit is like, I got fire today, guys. Rena's on fire today. It's like he was blocking this. He has to block this karmic, which caused a lot of conflict. He's in a place of apathy right now because nothing is manifesting. That's right. Because who has the abundant womb? Who has the abundance? Look at this. Divine Feminine over here. Divine Feminine has this abundance. Divine Feminine is the womb of the mother. She is the one that brings it together. So this Divine Feminine is saying here, I want the marriage. Get through your toxic shit. I'm leaving. She's been going back and forth about going to calmer waters. She's like, if this marriage is meant to happen, it'll happen, but I'm moving on. What is she juggling with spirit? What's Divine Feminine juggling with? She's in a challenged position of her intuition here. Yeah, so Spirit is saying, Divine Feminine, trust your intuition and maybe a bit of a challenge and back and forth. And if it's saying to move into calmer waters and to move into the new vibration, that's okay. That doesn't mean that you're leaving the sacred union behind. Remember, you are always connected to your mask and you'll always love them. Your souls are, 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 are together. You are one soul. So what are you going to do? You love them, you move on. You, you know, this... If this isn't something that you can partake in because your vibe is moving into a new vibe, that's okay. Spirit has it. Spirit almost needs that space to kind of whip this boy in, into shape. Seriously, they need to go whip it into shape. Okay, some of them all so stubborn. I can't even. So let's... <laughs> Spirit's like, don't doubt that intuition. Let me get a sip of coffee. Why is this, the high priestess in a challenged position in spirit? Because it's keeping you from rising divine feminine. Spirit really wants you to rise here. Make that decision. Put your foot down about the codependent and the attachments in your life. You've got to come to a place of trusting divine feminine that when you move forward and you surrender this connection to spirit, they're going to get theirs. That's what I did. When I did ayahuasca, ayahuasca told me, oh, when you accept the mission, he's going to get ripped. He's going to get ripped in you, you know. I'm like, all right. And, um... That's kind of what you have to do. You got to surrender that and let God take over. Because remember, God ain't so nice sometimes. You do a divine feminine wrong, that chaotic destruction will come down. That's some, that's the only way people wake up, right? So divine feminine, you're in your heart. You're like, look, torn between two lovers. I want to work this out. Whatever this karmic situation, whoever has the two lovers, this masculine is blocked here, okay? with Look at this, with karmic energies. It's the masculine, right? Spirit, Divine Feminine's like, I'm the abundant one, so what are you doing about it? She's in pain. She This this has caused her so much pain in this connection, but she's getting over that fear in her shadow work. She's just in her last grieving stages, and that's why this is activating this, you guys. That's why you're seeing changes in the collective right now, because it's activating whatever this Divine Feminine is letting go of that codependency and really moving forward. This heartbreak of this relationship, now it's the Two of Cups, it's not the lovers, right? It's just, uh, you know, a first coming together. And so it created heartbreak for her to, it helped her to get over her fears, to persevere and end toxic situations. Look at this, Nine of Wands with the Devil in reverse, okay? So I was clarifying the Three of Swords. So that is like, Devil energy, toxicity, she's ending and she's persevering. She's persevering. She's moving on. She's a wounded. She may be wounded, but she's strong. Let me tell you, women, listen, my grandmother gave birth, almost gave birth in a cow field. Okay. She walked for miles, pulling that cow from the cane field and got to her home to birth her children and birth all th 11 children. Sorry. She took care of 13 because two were not of her own, but 11 children in her bed with no medication. That's warrior status. This woman is going through it and she will persevere. That's the magic. Maslin can't handle it. This is why he's going through so much turmoil. Let's see what's going on with Divine Feminine. She's she's sitting with spirit. 
her action is just to surrender. She knows that things aren't moving here. She knows that um, she has to action her fear of putting an end to something. Remember, Divine Feminine, when you put an end to old vibrations, so will your masculine. You heal, they will heal. They ain't got, listen, that's the trick, you know? You know that in my Big Fat Greek Wedding, I love that saying, you know, where they're like, the men think they're the head. You know, they're the mind of everything, but the feminine is the neck and they can move that neck anywhere. And you know what? It's very true. When you do your work, they will mirror exactly. You create the vibration, they will move into that vibration. And the more you go, the more, the harder it gets. They can be as stubborn as they want. And I know this can take lifetimes because healing does take a long time. You just, whatever it is, it is, spirit will reward you. Your ending old vibrations here so don't be afraid divine feminine let your guard down spirit is saying you're seeing clearly for what things are right now aware you have been blocked in your own action in your life so it's time here look for your karmic justice and put an end to this courtship that you've been waiting there's no waiting right you can have space and there's a space there of forgiveness that when you go into that space in your heart with your mask and you're like yes i love you yes i've forgiven you but I've also closed that door and um, it's not, it's an open, it's a door that this masking can always open whenever he's ready. And that means if you're ready too at that point, you know, so spirit is really asking the collective this week, look, he's not stable enough to action this. He's actioning his instability. We have King of Pentacles in reverse with the King of Wands. So he's really actioning his instability and closing off the path. What about this waiting for divine feminines about feminine waiting? Yeah, this waiting is causing a lot of sadness and regret. It's not showing you your abundance behind you, you know. So no more waiting. No more investing in this. And be victorious, Divine Feminine. Be victorious because that is the key to true manifestation and happiness. Okay, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to clean this up. We're going to take a look now at Divine Masculine towards the karmic energies. We're going to see what is playing out in that. But right now what I'm seeing here um, for you guys is that Divine Masculine is going through a difficult time here and Divine Feminines are just really tired and they're really to uh, close off certain energies and move into calmer water. So if you've been unsure, um, we're going to get some advice about that too. But if you've been unsure about that, this is a sign to, you know, how to love unconditionally and move on to calmer waters because uh, this Masculine is still um, dealing with stuff and we're going to take a look at that. Let me just pause this and we will get started. Hey, you guys, thank you for your patience. This is the next day that I'm doing this. Uh, my son's cl class closed down because of COVID. They ended up closing down the school. And then last night, my son ended up getting a fever and a cough, and he is sick today. So I'm pretty sure it's COVID, but he's fine. Um, we are taking proper measures. We are going to get tested and all of that jazz. <laughs> and so if you hear coughing and wheezing, that is him. But he's he's completely okay. I don't go by medication. I've given him doses of medicine that I make, which I've cured strep throat myself. I don't go and do pharmaceuticals. I have, I have been downloaded medications, what plants to use, and I've been doing this for years. I, I may make a recipe book and put it out there for you guys. Um... But I've cured tonsillitis, strep throat, digestive issues and things like that in my own kids and myself with my own uh, medicines from the earth. And so he, his fever has broken. Um, he's pretty good. So yeah, so that's why these are late. So thank you for your patience. Uh, everything is good. It was a little stressful last night and I had to go get all the stuff and all the herbs and wash them and cleanse them and do all of that before making his medicine. I make two concoctions a day because it's only so much he can take down. <laughs> it's, it's potent stuff. It's potent stuff. A lot of garlic, a lot of ginger, all kinds of different things. So, all right. So we were going to take a look at divine masculine in regards to karmic situations. We're going to see what's going on in their relationship right now. So thanks again, guys, for your patience. Please hit that like and subscribe and comment down below. 
and uh, we're gonna get started again here we go day two what is going on with divine masculine and the karmic energies what is their current relationship spirit what is going on in that energy right now i saw a card i thought i cleared all of them out but this one came through from yesterday so there is a new pathway that is opening up i'm going to put that back because we will probably be using the kipper deck again so yeah sometimes they get stuck in there again and i do my best to clear them out but whatever gets stuck is meant to come through right let's take a look this is my deck the cosmic tarot um, let's take a look. Wow. Tower moment between the masculine and this is the higher realm energy that spirit is bringing down and the, that's like coming from 5D and coming into the 3D is the seven of cups. So there's a lot of um, confusion, the dream, the fantasy that masculine and karmic energies are completely crashing down. We have the four of wands in reverse divine masculine's headspace towards karmic karmic's headspace towards divine masculine is the hermit so this this uh karmic has completely pulled away we're going to move this over here uh heart space divine masculine is six of wands in reverse so there's definitely been a failed uh, attempt in his heart here karmic energy is the page of wands action and tensions towards karmic energy is the fool in reverse not not taking a leap of faith here um yeah and karmic energy's intention is definitely wanting the stability here with divine masculine outcome that divine masculine wants is that he's got his guard up and he's persevering he's persevering through anything with the karmic and the karmic energy is here a serpent wanting something new could be wanting something new with the divine masculine i need a sip of coffee guys Just give me a second Yeah, so if you guys hear any interruptions, my kids coming in or anything like that, it's because I do have two kids online schooling now. They're not in school because one school's closed down and the other one because of COVID procedures, even though she's in a completely different school, she's in high school. My son's in grade eight in a middle school. Um, everybody has to quarantine at home. So that's how it is in Canada. Get me out of here. <laughs> Can't be locked up in a condo. So this is very fascinating. Let's see how Divine Masculine is with the tower. Let's get back to this. Sorry, guys. It has been an intense night with all of this. It's like it becomes army-like all of a sudden, like as soon as you're like, the class closes down and you get all these messages from Peel Health, from this health board and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, let's see what is going on with the tower moment and the breaking down of illusions for Divine Masculine towards the karmic energy. Yeah, he's revealing things. So we have the high priestess, the sorceress in reverse. He's revealing the truth and it's breaking down this dream world and the karmic energy towards the bi-masculine is wanting to return. <laughs> Doesn't want to get left out of the cold here with the masculine energy. Um, so what I'm seeing is that this masculine is going to have to stand his ground pretty strong I feel like I need to pull the island time and let's take a look at the middle deck. He's he's revealing his truth and it's caught he's had an awakening. So it's breaking this down and uh, it's breaking any um, options. What I'm seeing here is karmic is like, what about this? And what about this? Or how about we do it like this? And it, it's like all these different options are, are falling down. It's like he's revealing his truth. Let's take a look a little deeper. What is divine masculine towards the karmic energies here in this middle in the middle? How are th what's going on with those energies, spirit? What is being revealed to the karmic with the sorceress, the high priestess in reverse? What is being revealed here that's breaking down the illusions for divine masculine towards the karmic energy for the collective? Thank you. Yeah, it's an addictive pattern, reminiscing on the past learning from the past so this was addictive behavior this that's what karma is it's codependency it's addictions and what is the karma responding with and wanting to return even though you know she's coming out of the cold look at this you're just running this healthy choice <laughs> so stupid of course karmic energy says this you're just running from us you're running from us you're saying this is a healthy choice but you're running from making a choice about our stability that, that's what the karmic is saying. 
it's not true you know like give the masculine a little bit of like uh this masculine knows what he's doing but then when you doubt a masculine strength like they got to figure it out these masculines are independent they want to do it themselves they don't necessarily want um someone to tell them what they need to do that's why that's why the separation is so important in a twin flame connection it's like you want to find your own you don't want someone to do that for you, you don't want someone to fix you you don't want someone to tell you how to do what you need to do that's an independent soul that's an old ancient soul that's a soul that's like no i want to discover that on my own and i want the space to do that and that's what divine feminine in the long run the masculine will see yeah this feminine gave me the space this feminine did not chase me this feminine did not crazy like this karmic you're just running from me because it's the stability that this masculine gave and saying you need to make a healthy choice not to run and bring this back but this masculine is very aware that this is an addictive pattern he's not having it he knows that it's addictive okay so let's take a look at this home life that he's breaking down he's breaking down structures we have the four of wands in reverse here in the mind space so the divine masculine towards the karmic is definitely breaking things down i'm going to use these mini cards here because they're easier for you guys to see what is this uh four of wands in reverse here spirit temperance he's having patience he's he's taking the time to alchemize himself he's in what he's wanting to manifest as this is breaking down so it's a slow process yeah he's kind of stuck in this right now because this masculine spirit is telling me that he's owning his manifesting capabilities he's learning how to transmute darkness is what i'm seeing and so little little every little layer that gets broken down that's why it's taking so long divine feminine i'm seeing a structure brick by brick it's like I built this up so fast, but now it's taking me time. It's a heavy load that I need to take one layer down at a time. We have three of wands. He's in reverse. He's not waiting to do this anymore of where he's stuck. He's holding patience. He knows that he needs patience to break this down because this one's psychotic. Whoever this karmic is, they're not mentally well. I wouldn't be surprised if I pull the kipper and the bad health shows up, okay? Yeah, it's been a very painful process. Three of swords with this masculine. This karmic energy with the hermit, clarify spirit, this hermit mode, she's pulled back, okay? Karmic energy has definitely pulled back, but still offering a lot of love, okay? Of course they're going to offer love. I want you. Wanting to return. Keep com Keeps coming back. Keeps offering love. Keeps trying to seduce. It's a it fate is coming in. She's at their wit's end. The the frustration of this because nothing is being received here. Okay, let's pull an island time here for the masculine towards the karmic in his mind. He's rising above any type of passion. There was an insane chemistry. They may have had an amazing sex drive, an amazing attraction, but remember that's all physical stimulus. That is addict addiction. Okay. True love doesn't come from anything from outside of yourself. It doesn't start with like, oh, he's so hot. That's what turns me on. No, it's like, wow, something is activating in my soul. That's, that's connection. Um, and so he, this masculine knows that this is an obsession. This is an addiction. That's what's kept him in the past. He's may have had addictions in the past. And he's rising. He's becoming the phoenix of this, this passion. Having fun, liking each other equally, insane chemistry. But there's a new phase here. There is a transformation, a growth, a changed mind, a rekindle. There's something has ignited inside of this masculine too. And it's, it's been a painful process, but he's moving on. This karmic energy here is very burdened by this. Clarify this spirit. Wanting to come, offering, pulling out all this, all the strength here, you know, that this, that they can, but they're receiving what they need. They're moving on. They're self-absorbed. They're a narcissist. Okay. One-sided relation. They're love bombing this masculine. Okay, that this masculine is getting in his boat and leaving. So they're completely love bombing. They're completely obsessed. And masculine is noticing how easy he's comparing the two is what I'm getting. The, the divine feminine walked away easily. She didn't beg. She didn't say she's like, well, I, I can't do that. Like, I'm sorry. And she walked and she let it go. You know, and she grieved on her own. She did her own thing. But this karmic is like, no, don't leave me. <laughs> so desperate. Uh Let's see what the six of wands in reverse is. He feels in his heart how it's failed with the karmic energy. The hierophant, he's learned his lessons. We have the moon, the hierophant, and the ten of cups in reverse. Yeah, it's not the ten of cups here. This 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 uh, commitment was out of the shadows. It brought him into the shadows. This marriage, he's learned his lesson of the dark, that it's not his ten of cups. Okay, clarify the hierophant with the moon. He's had to go through... 
Yeah, Eight of Swords. He's untrapping himself here and he's taking action of that, of his shadow work because he's realizing how dark this was. It put him right in the middle of his shadow work. Yeah, Six of Wands in reverse again, guys. It failed. We have two. Six of Wands that first came out to this one now. Okay. Uh, it has failed in his heart. He knows it's failed. It's not going to work. And the karmic energy is trying to communicate Page of Swords, but Page of Swords is not, you know, stalking him. Um, not very nice communication, very childish communication, trying to, you know, bomb him, text bomb him, send him music, send him stuff, you know, trying to, that flipped up that way. So nine of cups in reverse with the three of cups wanting friendship, a reunion. Like, why can't we just be together? Why can't we just be friends? Nine of swords in reverse. We can end our pain. I can fix you. I can help you. I can do all this bull with you. Seven of Swords, it's not honest, right? Trying to plan and get something back with this karmic because, I mean, with the Divine Masculine's Two of Cups because it's ended. So this is ended. This karmic energy is very frustrated with the whole thing. As I flip this over, this flipped over just now, the Devil in Reverse, okay? So that's the energy that is coming out. Let's take a look at what's going on with the Masculine here. He knows things have failed. He's learned his lessons and he's moving the hell on. Oh, wow, guys. Look at this. The shadow. He's putting, he put an end to this for his twin flame. You guys, this masculine is aware of his divine feminine. He put an end to this because of his twin flame. And look at this. Focus on self-worth. Time to heal. Shadow work. He knows that this karmic energy failed because it took him into his darkness, into his pain even further. He knew he could not be with his divine counterpart, okay, his twin, until he did this work. And he is completely aware of that. Like, do you see that, guys? That's the order that that came in, okay? Endings, new beginnings, yin yang, zen balance, twin flame, okay? Shadow work. Can't make up the sinks, guys. If you like the synchronicities on my channel, this happens all the time. It's not a surprise to me. It's like you'll hear other people. It's like, oh, my God, that's so, ooh. I get like that sometimes, but it's it's become a normal thing. Like, it's just, yes, the sinks are, t are, are strong here. So um, it's magical here. So let's take a look. Subscribe if you like the vibe, guys. Subscribe if you like the vibe. So let's take a look at this this this. Karmic in her heart is doing everything. She's coming at her wit's end. She's right She's right at the end of her frustration, okay? Because this masculine is ascending. So she's and moving on. Girl talk, moving on, getting together with friends. And how is the karmic really, yeah, outdated thinking? Because it's an outdated thinking connection. They're pulling it all stops, but you don't, listen, this masculine knows what is going on in this, okay? He is completely aware of what's happening. His actions towards karmic, it's not to start anything new. I feel this has been like a drama trauma connection, like massive push and pull. Like, oh, you know, I love you. Let's do this. Okay, we fight. We break up. We make up. It's so good. It get, but it never sustains, right? That's trauma drama. It's, it's, it's almost like this, this karmic was trying to convince this masculine who that this was a twin flame connection this karmic is aware that's what i'm saying we are meant to be that's why you need to open to me that's why we need to, and that's a toxic combination real twins don't really do that it's not a back and forth like that it's more of an energy thing um and it 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 pushes you back within yourself not expecting that from the partner okay that's where the toxicity is it's a very fine discernment so this masculine is not starting anything with this karmic energy, okay? Has put a complete halt, the chariot in reverse, not moving, not actioning, not doing anything with this karmic energy. Look at this, moving on, six of swords, queen of swords in reverse with the devil in reverse. Guys, I just had the devil in reverse that just came out, right? Can't make that up. Ending, that means divorce. That means ending karmic cycles. That means rejection, page uh, blocking page of swords in reverse, not taking the, and moving on to calmer waters. So he may have already ghosted. He may have had one final conversation and now he's done with the karmic energies. This karmic energy wants this stability here. Okay. Wants this king of pentacles and trying to action. He may have money. He may have a house. He may have whatever it is. This karmic energy wants it because she doesn't know how to do it on her own. Sorry. You have to do it on your own. 
that's part of growing up, especially when I'm sorry. Um, five of swords. And if you're a karmic watching this, I'm sorry. My, my channel's for twins and for high level soulmates. So sorry about that. Sorry guys. I'm like fired today. I, I, <laughs> it's coming out in this reading because of all this COVID stuff. My God. It's just like, I'm just done with old energies. Yeah. There's massive conflict here. Um, that was hidden. This karmic, um, feels like things were hidden by this masculine energy and he's having a renewal and there, that's why a decision was made and it's causing a lot of conflict here for this, for the, this, uh, karmic. <coughs> what I'm getting here is he's blocked King of Swords. He's acting a bit of a narcissist towards his karmic, whatever. What is being hidden? The, is she, or is that using her intuition? Cause I feel like it's a mixture of both here. Yeah, it's almost like um, there is a massive rejection here and a suppression of the truth. There's no communication, okay? So there's no more working on it. There's no more um, having discussions about it. So she feels like things are being hidden from her now, the karmic energy. What is this judgment here? Give me one more on the judgment. Yeah, ten of pentacles in reverse. So there's been a decision to end a marriage. Okay, there's been a decision to end some type of long term commitment here. Okay, whatever that looks like. Yeah, and she's chasing. Look, taking a chance. Come on, take a chance, baby. I'm chasing you. I'm chasing you. So this, this karmic energy is playing that. That's what I was saying, playing, pretending to be this whole twin flame thing, chasing, running. This is how we work. We have a connection. But this masculine already knows what a real twin flame connection feels like and can see how toxic this really is because we have the addiction here. So what is going on with masculine towards the karmic and moving on, blocking? Yeah, it's a seduction. They know they're trying to be, this karmic is trying to seduce them. It's a snake energy. Wow, look at this, guys. Girl with the snake, soulmate. This masculine is moving on, knowing that there was massive manipulation in this soulmate connection. I can't, do you see that, guys? Soulmate connection, twin flame, knowing the difference. This masculine is completely aware of this, knows that he's moving on, okay? He's persevering. He has his guard up, and he's leaving this. He's not being seduced. He's not sure how to move forward right now. I know he wants to give to the feminine energy. It's uh, He's procrastinating because he's looking at his direction right now of how to give. He's five, which is the six of pentacles, five of cups, okay? Regretful here. He's illuminated to all of this, okay? He's contemplating on his decisions at a fork in the road, looking and trying to decide which way. He's still blind. He doesn't know how to move forward and how to give. Because he's just persevering and moving through this now. Um, so that's the hold up right now. He's having a lot of regrets in his life. Maybe a lot of time has passed by. Maybe that he doesn't have his finances quite right to come forward. Maybe, you know, the breakup with the Divine Feminine was a little disruptive. He's illuminated to all of this, though, and he's having regrets. So he's a little stalled up because he is coming in. The, he is a wounded warrior, but he's still moving through. He's holding his strength and his courage to move through this, okay? We have seven of wands in reverse. He's letting his guard down and letting things burn to the ground. He's Whatever he's fought for before, he's not fighting for this with the karmic energy. We have the world now. So he's definitely ending this cycle here. Karmic energy is here with the ace of pentacles trying to offer a stable new beginning because the relationship has ended can't make that up okay lovers in reverse it's over knowing that there's a decision need to be made and and there's been quick swift communication that this has ended for a new beginning because there's a knight of swords with the nine of pentacles be, being single and being independent and being on your own that's the new beginning for you karmic sorry about it go do your work Go grow up and do your work. I hate to say it. Yeah, page of cups. There's been a lot of apologies, self-love. This karmic has to learn to love self, okay? Because the tower is here. Wow. Everything is falling down, guys, okay? So I don't remember the first part of the reading because that was yesterday. Um, I'll probably have to rewatch that. So this would be fascinating to see how this all ties in together. But let's see what the masculine is saying towards the karmic energies. So I'm reading on two different days here. Um, 
yeah, watching, stalking, focusing out, mirroring each other, self wounds, relationships reflect karmic relationship. It showed him all of what was going on within himself. The stalking, this gaslighting, never being good enough for this. This is karmic soulmate for him, okay? And, and he's done with that. He wants to see his goodness. He wants to see, he wants a clear mirror. And that's what you get with your twin because you see your gifts. You see your gifts. And my twin and I came together our musical talents, like just, psh, I was able to, exp he gave me something that I was able to sing and play guitar and ukulele, never played strings before in my life, right? He activated that within me. And then I activated the drumming in him. Um, so yeah, it's just twins heal and bring these gifts together. And he's realizing, Spirit wanted me to share that, that this is not gifts. Gifts aren't coming out. Just crappy healing keeps coming out because twins come together when they've done their healing are very close to dealing with um healing a lot of their stuff before they have to integrate their lessons together so this karmic energy is having a lot of tower moments <laughs> a lot of tower moments um breakup separation the axe okay um because a partnership is going through an engagement process this karmic knows that this masculine left this person, yeah, they're heartbroken for somebody else. Yeah. God didn't make you to, with, with, together. You're not the same soul. Go find your same soul. We all have to go through that. So that's the energy between karmic and masculine energies. Wow, guys. That's some potent stuff there. Let's take a look and see now what is really going on with the i'm going to pause this so i can put this together let's take a look and see what is the messages we have for the divine feminine okay and then we're going to see what the masculine's response is to the divine feminine so just give me a moment i'm just going to pause this all right guys welcome back we're going to see where is the divine feminine right now towards her masculine and some healing messages for the divine feminine and then we're going to um take a look and see the divine masculine's response okay and then we're going to get some mutual messages for both parties so yeah it's it's pretty consistent guys um that this masculine has woken up he's still working through stuff um these are timeless so yeah, if you're liking this so far, please hit that like button. It really helps my channel to grow, guys. It's been growing so much. Thank you so much. I'm getting new subs. And my uh, account was hacked into, so there was a lot of stuff that was going on. I'm going to make a video about that eventually, too. Um, yeah. So let's take a look. I'm going to actually put a sketch. I have a sketch of the person who took a... who, who um, did fraud on my account. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to expose the person so you guys can all know. But it's a it's a it's a drawing, so it's interpretation, so <laughs> I won't get in trouble for it. So here, what's going on with divine feminine, please, spirit? What is going on with divine feminine, please, in this uh, twin flame soulmate high level connection in this separation period right now? What messages do you have here for divine feminine, please, spirit? Let's see what's going on in her mind space. You got the leg up, girl. Heart space. Okay, chaos and conflict, time to go, okay, and one more, I'm giving you two here, why, and observe, okay, so what I'm getting here, you know, Spirit wants me to put these together, like we put, brought these out together, we brought these out together, and they want one more, sorry Spirit, all right, thinking, all right, Spirit Divine is saying to you, Divine Feminine, you have the leg up right now, okay? Don't worry about, you're feeling a lot of energies because there's massive cycles ending out. And so try not to attach with what is happening in 3D and try not to attach to the feelings that you're feeling with your twin. Let it go, surrender, and keep prayer up and meditation and your spiritual practice to connect with the divine. We have the number seven here and seven is also a very spiritual number, but you have the leg up. This is spirit giving you and your connection a, a, a room to grow and expand. So God has this. So don't worry. Just keep doing what you're doing in the mind space, okay? What's in the heart space right now is whatever is causing conflict is seeing how this giraffe, this all of the, um, I'm using just natural light, so I hope this works good for you guys. You can see this. So this is, you know, the giraffe, with uh, the giraffe, the zebra was pretending to be a giraffe. 
you know so there are layers coming off especially for divine masculine he was thinking he was somebody that he's not so these masks and these layers are alleviated uh, off the connection out we have a three three and we have a nine nines and threes are very magical okay and i always say this look up like tesla's law of like three seven and and nine sorry three six and nine manifestation seven is another way of manifesting in a different way but this is a seven here so this is very spiritually uh protected and so there's layers being um moved so divine feminine you're leading the way to this new path in your heart so spirit wants you to move into the new vibration they don't want you to attach to the old because they want you to see how toxic it really is that's why the masculine is you're doing this work divine feminine so as you're moving and allowing yourself to heal it's moving the connection along this masculine has left the karmic and very close to leaving the karmic energy okay so keep doing that because it's very potent for you to get to that new vibration spirit is saying and that you, how do you do that self-love ultimate self-love no more obsessing and feeling depressed when you do that it's like heal it move forward move forward in your actions it's like question yourself why and observe yourself here we have a 31 which is a four building your own foundations and your own stability and we have a 49 which is a three 13 a 3 9 10 11 12 13 sorry it's a 4 sorry there's two fours here 9 10 11 12 yeah 13 which is a 4 31 4 so guys i can't add and subtract i can multiply and divide and i could do like <laughs> algebra geometry and calculus but i can't think simple i don't know why it's just the way i am so yeah i still count on my fingers if you watch my channel but <laughs> and i have a different intelligence so this this is like why okay and observe it and spirit is like saying you're gaining a lot of information here so just observe in your actions of what is being presented to you spirit is trying to get divine feminine in a place of co-creation so that you can really manifest in a really big way so question and look at the actions question yourself and your choices in your world right now divine feminine and observe what is happening within yourself to build more of a solid foundation why would i do this why am i obsessed today or why is this manifesting in my life right now where do i need to clean up my vibe so that i can manifest the way that i desire because when you come in contact with your twin you're going to want these gifts you're going to want these gifts of of alchemy and your path so you can be like, yeah, baby, look at the work I've been doing. You you know, you want to be proud of each other when you come back together and be like, do you know what I've grown? Do you know what we could probably do now? You want to gain these insights to come into union so that things move smoothly, so things go smoothly and that you're not constantly in this healing, uh, triggering each other phase, you know? That's why God keeps twins separate, real twins, okay? Not the fake ones out there that they keep showing their dark shit, no. That stuff will be healed for real twins to come in. That stuff will be healed so that now you're just integrating and learning how to move those healing things into the 3D world, right? Spirit wants you in the outcome. We have four fours. You got lots of fours here, guys. Fours uh, here and fours here. You're building a foundation, Divine Feminine. And Spirit's like, think about what you're doing here, about what you're building and what this connection really can come about and what it can be. Okay, because it's it's a it's really beautiful of what this can actually be. I'm pulling out the kipper. We're gonna see how divine masculine. We have lovers on the bottom as soon as I flip it. Let's see what spirit is saying to divine feminine. So this is your advice, divine feminine. We're gonna see uh, how the masculine will respond to this advice. So this is also near future and how to proceed in your connection, okay? And uh, yeah, see how that goes for the next week. And then we'll take a look and check in with the energies again for next week. Um, and Spirit is really saying just, you know, keep mind. You may want to keep a journal and just, you know, keep things tracked here and, and how things are moving in your connection what's manifesting what your feelings are trust those intuitive hits and notice what the 3d stuff how that triggers what that triggers in your emotional body right become very discerned with the energies you're allowing in let's take a look spirit what is this leg up for divine feminines what is this leg up for divine feminines yeah in the future 
So spirit is like in the distant future. There, there's going to be something that's going to be coming up together. The spirit is giving you the advantage here in this situation to build a home. Okay, to build foundation. Again, this is about foundation, Divine Feminine. In your heart space, you have to leave the old vibration and this conflict here. There's a lot of concern here about family patterns and getting too close to what is happening with healing some very deep family traumas. That's what the masculine is doing right now. And even for yourself, Divine Feminine, just hold a concern of for yourself and to start observing yourself of where you need to leave old family patterns behind. Spirit is really asking you, Divine Feminine, to observe the whys. Why did we do things this way? Why was our connection this way? Community, friends, family, and people, and things that have affected this connection. And how now, you know, that, because there's always a lot of karmic stuff. People don't ever want twins together. They don't. They don't like that love, you know, because they, they can feel the power of it it scares them remember you we are always more afraid of the light than we are of the dark because it is something that we don't we're not comfortable with because we were raised in dark every single human was raised in darkness we all have trauma in some form way or shape even from our lineage so whatever how the community your your world has affected you this new path is now opening up as you observe things, as you observe, so spirit is really asking to my family, look at culture, look at friendships, look at your education, look at your family, look at where things are and just try and get a bigger picture of what's happened in your connection. Think about it, okay, Divine Feminine? Think about it. This is going to leverage you. Spirit wants you to see this because we're also part of your mission I'm getting for a lot of you guys that when you come into union with your twin, yeah, this is up to God here. We have jurisdiction, adjudication, sorry, there's massive decisions. This is when a higher source is making decisions for these two people, okay? So that could be a court case that you could be dealing with, but I don't believe this is a 3D thing. I think this is Spirit saying, I'm making these decisions now. I want you to think about this surrender aspect uh, because this masculine is also surrendering and think about this con this connection and the foundation of what that looks like. You may have had an idea of what it was when you first met your twin. And you're like, yeah, we're going to raise a family, we're going to do all this stuff. But now that you're going through the healing, you're like, whoa, wait a minute. That vision was distorted in a place of where I was unhealed. But now that I'm healing... Maybe we shouldn't be living in California. Maybe we should be living off grid now. Maybe we shouldn't be buying a house in the suburbs. Maybe I want to live with the earth or maybe I want to find a community that's, you know, more supportive with the energy or whatever that looks like. Your visions and your ideas, you're gaining clarity it are changing right now, Divine Feminine. So Spirit really wants you to come into this place of knowing this within yourself, okay? We're going to see what else we have here for Divine Feminine and then we're going to see what the masculine's response. Okay, Spirit doesn't want me to clarify. They want me to get right into what, how the masculine is responding bottom of the deck we have here no place like home so this masculine knows that there's no place like home all right so divine feminine as you do this work okay you start getting a better understanding okay that spirit is planning a foundation for you and your and your person where do you need to release where do you need to walk away where do you where is this conflict happening How, can you be open to things being differently than what you thought before for this new path to emerge and more surrendering to this to allow God to bring the clarity forward so that you can be guided into a holy matrimony is what I'm hearing okay so this is very important work guys very important work if you guys want to work more with me and you want to gain more clarity and get actual teachings right from spirit that line up to your growth that will alleviate a lot of um, things that you need to do Okay, I get channel teaching specific customized. Book a coaching session down below. We go very deep into what you need to do here. Uh, they're highly transformative. So just be aware, okay? You may not hear, you want to hear, you'll get and messages. Like if you haven't worked out, it's going to be like, you need to work out. And you'll be like, damn, like I know, but I don't want to. Like, you know, like that kind of stuff. So um, let's take a look. How is the masculine responding here, spirit, and being guided as divine feminines do this path that you're laying out? How are masculines responding to this? Can I have in the mind space, please? Divine masculine, heart space, actions and intentions. 
and outcome. Thank you. Look at that beautiful. Wow. So this is what's happening with the divine masculine energy. Divine feminine spirit is leveraging you in the distance, okay, in the future to build this foundation. So trust that in your mind. Whenever you start overthinking, remember, no, God's got it. God's got it. God's got it. Uh, the God's building this foundation. This is regenerating your masculine. We have a 10 coming to the end of a cycle here. As you divine feminine, you walk into the new vibration. You let go of chaos and conflict. You look at your family patterns. You look at the concerns that you have in your physical heart that's keeping things stuck in your world where you can't move on from and you start healing. It will pull the masculine out of the old world into the new world, okay? As divine feminine walks into this new path and observes the whys and actions those things and takes new action in her life to heal, okay? To walk into this new path, not caring what other people think, not caring what other people say, really, and keeping your connection to yourself. Spirit is saying, this unfinished business, okay? It's like a never-ending story almost. You have unfinished business. It's going to bring in a lot of happiness for the masculine. We have another 10 here. 10, 3, 10, and an eight, okay? So this masculine will become happier with uh, ending anything that he has to finish up, anything that he has to clear up in his life to be with the divine feminine, okay? And here, allowing spirit to take over with the divine masculine and yourself, thinking about what's happening, allowing spirit to take all of those doubts and whatever else. We have a three here, 12, which a change in the wind will happen for the divine masculine. So do you see how it's pulling your masculine into your powerful goddesses? Don't doubt your power, divine feminine. This is what feminines can do. This regeneration for the masculine <laughs> is from the privileged lady. Clarify that one more time. What is it about the privilege? Wow. Moving from women who are so privileged to somebody who is mature, divine feminine regenerating himself to end cycles this is a three this is a six I'm moving and give me one for the privileged lady just look look at how the cards talk i'm going to tell you who is the main woman right now okay and the divine feminine with this mature woman the regeneration spirit working toil and labor so this masculine is doing a lot of this work regenerating and working this this main person okay clarify that spirit with the privileged lady yeah and the wealthy man okay this is why this privileged lady is here because of the money and is the main woman it's going to regenerate and change things he's working really hard for this to be with this divine feminine energy here okay look mature man we have a couple he's working he knows this takes time and work it's it's like he keeps going circle 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 and he's been working 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 so to get him out of this divine feminine you're pulling him out into a new foundation in order for this well for this stuff to end okay it will pull him into a different world okay so he's going around in circles right now he wants to heal but it's going to show him to become the boss in his life and to action this type of abundance okay he's gonna feel it he's gonna move towards it anything that he's unfinished in his life okay he's going to end that yeah it's gonna keep him it, he's the loss here he's gonna gain happiness out of his life here of anything that's unfinished clarify that a little bit more spirit yeah into a courtship this courtship it's not healthy for him yeah it's gonna be like a surprise unexpected income coming in he's going to want to pay his way out from a loss for his happiness because he's running in circles still okay he's still we saw when he was with the karmic he's done he knows he can't but there may be some financial stuff or some other things that he's working through so keep going divine feminine it's pulling the vibration out uh up is what i'm saying out and up okay of this toxic stuff a change in wind will come for the divine masculine yeah, to end things in his life. Look, for love. Okay, for a new beginning. Okay, so Divine Feminine, that's the work, potent work of the Divine Feminine. Completely, completely, completely. Wow, guys, let's get some messages. That is your reading 
for this week. Thank you for your patience as well because I know <laughs> I've been pretty consistent with these and I know um, when we mess out it's yeah, just thank you for your understanding. So let's take a look here. Let's see what the what's going on with masks. And we're gonna read these a little differently, 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 differently. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. It really helps everything. I'm so thankful that you're here. If you want to work with me, take a look down below. But let's take a look. Let's see what divine masculine is. What energy is sitting in right now towards the divine feminine? What is going on with the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine? What messages does he want to say to the viewer, please? Or to this Divine Feminine? We're just going to take the top today, guys. He's got three messages for her. And what does the Divine Feminine want to say to the Divine Masculine. What does the Divine Feminine want to say to the Divine Masculine here, Spirit? What is the Divine Feminine's response for each card, please? Thank you. Okay. They fell out like that, so we'll take it, even though this came out second. Um, Spirit is telling me to keep it this way. So... Spirit is saying they came out in threes because this is situation, actions, and outcome. So situation for Divine Masculine towards Divine Feminine. We both rejected each other on some level. Tough love is sometimes the only way we learn. So this Masculine knows uh, what happened in this connection. Was it an act of tough love that it needed to happen to trigger both of you into a growth, okay? Divine Feminine's response. I'm constantly replaying the past to see what I could have done differently. So do you see how both of you are looking at how what's happened in this connection, you're both doing that inner work to take ownership and to heal yourselves through it, okay? Divine Masculine is feeling the Divine Feminine. When he actions in his life, he is in Divine Feminine mode, okay? He's feeling the feminine. He's actioning for the feminine. He's thinking of, of, divine, uh, of the logistics here about the connection, but in his heart, he's saying, I am letting the past go. However, our path has unfolded i am trusting that it's perfect because god created us perfectly together so this masculine and his actions is feeling divine feminine and is acting towards divine feminine and trusting that god will align things as meant to be and the divine feminine is feeling this from the mask and look at this how they correspond it's not even the mirrored message on the back guys okay so you can do the cards this way too and so spirit is saying here uh sorry divine feminine is feeling the masculine saying we're meant to be Right? Just how the masculine is saying, God put us perfectly together. Okay? Beautiful. And here we have your flowering heart called, this is the outcome. Your flowering heart called me, but like a humming, hummingbird, I cannot linger for long. Can you forgive me? You know, hummingbird is always trying to find the sweetest nectar. And, it, and it, he found the sweetest nectar, but he went on to another flower. Right? And he wants forgiveness from the Divine Feminine. And Divine Feminine is saying feeling the divine feminine energy and saying your rejection show look at that he couldn't linger for long can you forgive me your rejection showed me where i've been rejecting myself i have been seeking approval in others for so long this divine feminine no longer is seeking approval from other people she is doing it herself wow guys this i think this ended up being a lot longer reading because it was split between two days but I, I hope you had a nice little snack and watch this pop some popcorn or something. <laughs> if you love that reading and you love the vibe, please subscribe. So much love, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below and we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.